After Effects is such an incredibly powerful software that it gives editors and designers endless ways to use it. However, all these options can be overwhelming. So we're going to simplify After Effects and break down three of my favorite effects that I love using from motion graphics and how you can use them in multiple ways for your next project. Okay, the first effect that I use way too much is Echo. I basically have an unhealthy addiction with this effect. Echo can be used to easily create duplicates of your animated work, which means you can put together some really interesting projects in just a few seconds. So for example, I have this title and we'll animate the scale of the graphic to bounce back and forth. And to loop this animation, I'll add the expression loop out ping pong. Just all click the stopwatch to add expressions. Now we can add the echo effect from time. Straight away, you can increase the number of echoes and then adjust the echo time to offset the duplicates. Be sure to hold control or command on your keyboard when adjusting this setting because it's very sensitive. Then if you want, adjust the decay so this will fade the back end copies of the effect. And for the echo operator, I usually don't touch it, but if you're not happy with how the copies are blending, just switch between the different modes. But there it is, the echo effect in action, and it looks great. Now, there are other ways to use this effect. For example, we can create our own motion path with the pen tool on this title layer. I'll copy the mask and paste it to the title's transform position property. This will make the title revolve around the path, but be sure to do the loop out ping pong expression again. Now we'll use the echo effect, and this time I don't want just the decay setting, so now we have this really cool trail animation effect. Let's go through one more popular use with echo for this repeated title loop. So with the title selected, I'll draw a mask and turn it off. Then you can go into the text path options and set the path to the mask that you just created. Then animate the first margin. I usually just add an expression like time asterisk 100 to animate the title. And once again, apply the echo effect. This will effectively duplicate your titles and loop it. Just remember the echo time parameter is the key parameter for the effect. So there are many cool ways you can use the echo effect to elevate your After Effects.exe experience. Okay, next effect, motion tile. This baby of an effect is all about extending your edits and making them seamless. For example, I have this graphic here that would be really cool as a background, but I don't want to duplicate the shapes more than I need to, so I can apply the motion tile effect. And right away, we can increase the output width and height to extend my design. And look at that, it's pretty easy. I can also check mirror edges when needed, or in this case, I won't. And now, here's the power of this effect. I can animate the tile center, and this will seamlessly animate the background and just works beautifully. Let's dive a little deeper and create a seamless title and understand the motion tile workflow. So first things first, I'll lay out my titles like this. Then we'll need to pre-compose all of our work so we can properly apply the effect. With our composition layer, let's apply motion tile. Then as before, we'll animate the tile center. However, as we scrub through this, you'll see a big ugly gap in our title. We don't want this. So to fix it, I'll go into the original composition and change the composition settings. Our goal is to make sure that there's no composition space above or below the titles. And when we go back into our main comp, the problem is fixed and we have a seamless title scroll. And there's so many other examples we could go through with motion tile. Like you can use this effect to create a seamless transition between two shots just by animating the tile center. And you can also use it to create a typography scene like this. I'll link how to create this in the description below. However, if you're on the go and do not have time to produce high quality work, we've created a pack of visual elements that you can preview and instant import into any After Effects or Premiere Pro project. From there, you can change out the text, colors, and other parameters to fit your needs in under a minute of time. You can also get our free pack of templates and check out all 20,000 plus editing assets that we have with the links in the description below. All right, for the last major effect that I spam and it needs to be nerfed, is the grid effect. I don't know, maybe I'm just biased, but I love this effect. First things first, it can be used just as a simple background. We can apply the grid effect to a solid layer, and straight away, I always change the grid to width and height sliders. This way, when I change the width and height to the same number, I know the lines will form a square and not be an ugly rectangle. And if you like, you can also change the border size and the color. And similar to the motion tile effect, you can keyframe the anchor property, and this will animate the grid. So now we have this subtle background. I also recently implemented this effect as a floor into my previous retro tutorial. And really quick, here's how to do that. You just need to set your solid layer to a 3D layer and set the X rotation to 90 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, whatever. Then adjust the position to move to the bottom of your composition. 
You also may need to adjust the solid settings to expand the grid to the size of your composition. But when you're ready, you can duplicate the grid solid and bring it to the top of your project. And boom, now you have a really cool composition. Another great use of this effect is to use it with shapes, specifically circles or cylinders. So when you have a grid effect ready to go on your solid layer, just apply the CC sphere effect. We'll adjust the light intensity and the shading property so this looks good. And now we can reposition and duplicate the sphere to add cool details to our boring title. So these are my favorite effects that I constantly use in After Effects for motion graphics. If you have any favorite effects, please let me know in the comments down below and always be creative.